Lisa Butts uh, makes a huge difference on our campus in that she gives kids a place to be. Uh, one of the sayings that I like to say about our school is that there's a place for every student at Hanford West. And Lisa embodies that. Uh, she's probably got the largest program on our campus. And one of the special things that takes place within that program is that kids uh, learn how to do something uh, to feel good about themselves. They have a place to belong. If you go into that band room at any time of the day, there are kids just hanging out in there. It gives them a place to be, uh, to feel respected, uh, to know that uh, the expectation level for them is high and they achieve it. And that's one of the benefits um, that comes from the hard work that Lisa puts in with those kids. Miss Butts is one of the best teachers I've ever had. She is the most influential person I've come to know and befriend. Um, and her teaching is very unique. She, she's very humorous in her ways and she connects with the students on a personal level, but on a teacher level as well. Um, she's a very good friend of mine. She's changed my life in numerous ways. She's made me a better musician, um, a better person in the workplace, and overall, um, a better person to people as well. She's a great, great person, and I'm happy to know her. Throughout my teaching career, I've committed much of my life to music advocacy and helping music education grow in our state. I've served on the boards of the Tulare Kings Music Educators Association, the California Music Educators Association Central Section, the California Band Directors Association, and the California Alliance for Jazz. In fact, I've been the president of all four of those organizations throughout my career. And we've spent our time helping to make music grow in our state by hosting conventions, by hosting clinics, by hosting festivals, and doing many things that help music education. But the thing that I'm most proud of now is that during my last year as president of the California Band Directors Association, we were approached by the California Music Educators Association because they were losing their convention. Their, they had declined so much that there was not gonna be a convention and they had no way to host it and no funds. So the California Band Directors Association brought them into our convention and began to reshape the CBDA All-State Convention into what it is now, which is now called the California All-State Music Education Conference. Now, not only is CMEA aligned with us, but so is CODA, the California Orchestra Direction, Directors Association, the California Alliance for Jazz, and now ACDA, the American Choral Directors Association of California, are aligned with us. Now we have a giant convention that's not fractured. All the groups work together to ensure that music is there for not just our students, but for our teachers as well, for education for them. And out of that alignment of all those groups has come the Stand Up For Music Coalition. This coalition is a group of all the presidents of these fine organizations working together to bring music issues to the forefront of our legislators. We've sponsored a bill, SB 725, to get our fine arts performing standards, our visual and performing arts standards revised. They have not been changed since 2001 when they were implemented, and we think it's time for a change. Through our commitment to this bill, it has been passed to the Senate and is now going to the Assembly, and we hope that it will also be passed unanimously so that our students in California will be able to have the most up-to-date standards for our students. The next hope of the Stand Up For Music Coalition is that the Ed Code will be enforced. The Ed Code states that all students in grades one through six shall have an education in music, art, dance, and drama. Not should have or may have, but shall have an education. And that's not being followed. It is my hope because of the work of the Stand Up For Music Coalition and all the educators behind that coalition that we will be able to get our legislators to enforce the Ed Code and ensure that all students in California receive an education in music and the arts. 
and that that education is given by a certificated music teacher and that they follow the state standards.